talked a little bit earlier about this piece um, in connection with the universal man, the, the Da Vinci, uh, your, your take on the Da Vinci drawing. Uh, this one uh, is a bit unique, um, just aesthetically in, in this show. There's another one sort of like it. Uh, the materials and sort of the way you approach it is similar to the Inner Hole series, which was a decade ago. But yet, it has the hallmark of the show with the, the break and the fissure. These don't all completely line up. Um, there's, but there's a, a lot of um, density in this one. So I, I'd like for us to talk about this one because it doesn't have a lot of referential imagery per se, mm. but um, it, it, it does tie and is connected, not only in terms of palette, but conceptually with the other work. Yeah, so like you say, the, sh the shape is uh, a similar broken cycle or open cycle. Uh, and here is this strata, the layers, the earth layers. So maybe uh, the way that the uh, earlier piece layered the palette from bottom to top, it's kind of doing it radially outward. So this dark interior and then a warmer colors and then, you know, more like sky and water on the outside and earth. Yeah, but I guess he's sort of... Um Isolated the way uh, until you, when you said that it just now I just kind uh -huh. of got in my mind resolving sort of what this is and so you're right this is almost like the whole earth and like a core yeah like and the coming core. out yeah, exactly so now I get it it's sort yeah. of slicing into a nut exactly or something. exactly okay. yeah so yeah you're seeing this one it's a cross section of a globe or something exactly like exactly as yeah. opposed to flattened out yeah a picture yeah. plane okay yeah now I'm yeah, with yeah, you. yeah yeah that's right. And, but it's also like contouring, the contour lines and contour plowing. You know, if, you, if you're looking at a landscape here, you're seeing it from the depth of the sky and then the clouds and then the ground and then the forest. And then, so you're going deeper in that way as well. And the other thing too, uh, for people who are looking at this on the video, um, this is very deep, it's very layered. Um, this isn't like a, a painted shadow line or anything. So it really is sort of, it, it builds up and comes back down. So um, this, these sort of green earth elements and land elements kind of come out a bit at you. But it really is kind of popping in and out, e even within an, a, a, an area and differently in each of the segments. So a lot of kind of action going on in this one and a, a lot of different uh, cast shadows being created out yeah, of it. Yeah, when it gets drawn on the uh, paper, of course the uh, initial daily drawing is all flat. So yes. a lot of the work of transforming it, yes, yeah, to decide how to play the depths and how to play the edges and how to play the shapes when, I, when it's carved. That's really fun. So I try to take each of the little phylogonic sections and do a little bit, bit different, do a little variation in each one. And th this one, I think, is a result of that, is a bit more abstracted because um, it isn't the, as much of the referential imagery. Um, so it's even though, as we've talked about it and sort of unpacked it a bit, you know, we, we see sort of what your thinking was, but still when you just look at it visually, right. Um, All right. it's not as obvious, huh. okay. you know, so it's, it's more abstracted. Um, I mean, I like it a lot. I like the, <laughs> the diversity of the color and I really like, um, I like the intensity of the layering. Yeah, I like the abstraction. I don't have any problem with that. I don't know. I think about the gradients a lot and the contrast between the colors a lot in this one. Um, I think that just that range of colors, that earthy sort of range of colors is always attractive to me. Yeah, and the red is definitely, I like the way that it kind of comes in higher and lower and, and it's not all totally proportional. That's this, really this one has, nice I work it. the edges a lot of this too. There's a lot of sloped edges in this, which makes a lot of trouble in carving but it, and, yes. and cleaning up, but it does, it does help it really, really pop out. This one I really wanted the, as much dimensionality as I could, and I hung it out from the wall a couple of inches too. Yeah, no, and it definitely came through. Definitely very successful.